Sometimes just so useful that you point in that direction, your character goes in that direction and, you know, not spends a while, you know, turning that type of body and walking over a cliff. But really, I'd say, say, of all the solutions, either make a teleportation pit that instantly brings you down to low health, or just changing the landscape a bit by moving a rock. I'd say i probably have gone from moving the rock. Just saying, that seems like the less immersion breaking thing. What is that? Oh right, it means I can plant one of my flags there, right? Yeah. It's been a while since I've seen one of those videos. Like, what was this again? No, wait. You've unlocked an operation on war table. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, did you see that light return to the war table? Use your power on the following things, like doing operations and unlocking new areas and stuff. Yeah, yeah, you, you told me ages ago. That's just game of freaking amnesia. Alright, so what I want to do is I want to avoid the venatory somehow. Let's see, that down there. Okay, so if I continue ahead and ride around the city. I'm going to get the landmark over here. Right, that's why I didn't recognize the thing. It wasn't because of time, it's because we usually look like, oh god, no, what the hell. More of the second exalted march. Remember the triumph of the profane. Sister Everton led the march of the river Tennessee, where stood shrines to the other gods. These she struck down, standing upon the bank, she's saying the channel light. I trust this word had come to the tales to deal with them from the wickedness. Oh yes, I'm sure the dress would have pretty No, I'm not engaging in that thing over there. What makes you think I am? No, we're leaving. No. We're not fighting you. Leave us alone. Go the wrong way. I just want to get to that fucking camp. That's this direction. I really hope that at some point, after having to listen to all this bullshit about driving up the tails, there's a moment where my character can deliver the smackdown to the Andrastian church for pulling this bullshit and thinking that it was A-OK. -okay. But maybe I need to be Dalish to be able to do that. Maybe I can think this is unfair unless I'm Dalish. I don't know. That kind of seemed like the vibe I got from the comments, that you need to be a certain person to be able to take up a certain cause. Which, i like to remind you, is kind of bullshit. Okay, wood. How do I get up there? Is it inside a cave or something? Maybe I do have to find the Venatory over here. Oh boy, that's gonna be fun. Um, right, well, I'll drink this and then let's cross our fingers and hope for the best. They should drop the anti mage. Oh, for fuck's sake. Draw aggro and protect me! Kinda of expecting a bit more, I must admit. So how the fuck am I supposed to get to the camp? In the name of physics, doesn't that make any sense? Deep breaths, deep breaths. How am I supposed to get up there? Was 
clear rock face wall over here just cutting me off. Maybe there's something further back? Like a way up that I didn't notice where it could be? Wait a moment. Wait a moment. No. No. You want me to go back to the war table in order to order someone to show up here and excavate this place? Seriously? Really? That's what you're going with? You're cutting me off like this so I can... Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Very well. Very well. That's how we'll do it then. All I want to do was to be allowed to walk into the camp to get my stuff back without having to walk on. All the way back from one of the other camps. That's all I asked for, but no, apparently that's asking too much. Have you heard anything? Not yet. I'll let you know as soon as I do. It must be this one. Get access to Gil and Nain's Grove. Chief Engineer Benedine's reports uh, to Commander Colin. Initial inspection, Ilven ruins, ancient, largely structural on sound, walls are damp and crumbling, recent damage to low bearing walls, claw marks. Task clear to lose robbery and force collapse pathway for safety. Requirement 10 strong workers, 2 dual engineers, 2 guards security, 3 wiping loads, squared O beam, 170 cakes of brown ale. Sure, do it. As was clear and safe, access to the grove restored. 170 cakes of ale, not nearly enough for 15 halfway inquisition men and women. Chief Engineer Bernadine. No. I don't. Okay, so. Uh, see the problem here? It's not just that. What did. Arrange what we discussed earlier, Ambassador. I found the money. The Inquisition will compensate the families of those we lost at Haven. Thank you. You see the problem here? I had to get out of the area, walk all the way in here, click this, click that, all to get through that access. At no point was anything accomplished, anything proven, other than me just going out. I didn't even have to wait like all the other missions, it was just instantaneous. So why not just have it like... When I walk to the area, it's just like, you must have this much power to get people to do stuff. Instead of having me go all the way back here to accomplish it, fuck all. Just to clear that out. What did this accomplish other than waste my time? I know that desperate to say your epic game is this many hours long that you're willing to resort to such cheap, unfulfilling, pointless padding. This game is padded to the extreme with pointless bullshit. Why? Focus on your narrative. Focus on interesting stories. And if you want divergent science stories with interesting characters, then have those small condensed arcs where we can be like, oh, that's pretty interesting, I guess. Side stories where we we'll meet interesting characters or we'll learn more about the world if we want to. And focus. Focus! You know what? This game should be cut down. A lot of these things should be sliced and left out so that more time and care could be spent on the remaining instead of this big flat. Floor. Oh my, it's an amazing floor. It's very big, but it's kind of flat. Ugh. Let's just set everyone to do something. Let's see. Wasn't there some missions already accomplished and I should get some reports on it? Yes. Conscript for the Inquisition. You have our first group recruits. I'll continue to search for more. Now the tricky part. Training. To serve any master. To survey the master, that was simpler than I would have hoped. The Imperial County Horse Clerk was so shocked to have been discovered and so fearful of being thrown down, they all both swore their loyalty to the Inquisition on the spot. 
My agents say they are behaving themselves so far. Indeed, they send gifts for you to prove their good faith. But we will watch the closely, nevertheless. Meantime, my effort we make, any efforts we make to gather coins, will not doubt benefit from their from their placement. Well, that was praising. A pitch battle with evil mages disguised as kitchen servants, fireballs flying, and swords flashing. It brings back old times. Won't be if I eating anything come out of those kitchens for a while. Let me tell you. I wonder if they were going to poison me. Nasty little cultist. Anyhow, I'm grateful for the Inquisition's help. We wouldn't have found them without you. Couldn't I have been there instead of wandering around a big field finding fucking leathers and stones? This actually sounds exciting! <sighs> Protect the Inquisition's reputation. Dear Lady Montelier, there are scandalous rumors lying about Starkey and tales that paint the Inquisition as wicked or servants and thieves. I swear Lord Trevelyan's relatives, the ones who acquired it before, would help Sister Liliana, are taking their petty vengeance. There's a ringleader, Bandorna. Bandorna's taking care not to let any wolves be traced back to his household, but the man has a tongue as forked as an Alicia Bards. If he could be made an example of, I believe the will fall silent. See what they suggest. Ben Donald sells his harvest to Antiva. If his taxes were mysteriously inflated, he'd have something to worry about besides us. Ben Donald's feud would start his royal family before, if we stop rumors when he intends to begin and begin, he would be too busy manning the affairs to force ours. These rules will never stop. I say if we let them talk themselves to death. We let them talk themselves to death. I have no idea what you mean, but it sounds interesting. Carl, I have no idea what you're doing, but, you know, it sounds interesting enough. Go do it. Story of Bang with a merchant prince. The allied merchants of the monarchy of Antiva are quite well they can assist us in any fashion. They can provide us with some of the finest goods and theaters, a powerful boost to our prestige, and spread our influence north. The merchant princes will also attempt to ensnare us in the contract, so Campanula will be eternally tied to them. If we are interested, we must send our most skilled negotiators. Our diplomats are well respected, and I feel that we can come out, out ahead of the back if we are prepared to commit. Best Let's see. I've chosen a few dozen diplomats to handle them, this merchant prince. I'll of course inspect everything we sign myself. At your service. Yep. Escape rules for agents in Crestwood. Inquisitor, I'll move some of my agents in Cape Bronach, the fortress in Crestwood. At the moment, the villager prefers you, us to the bandits, and it is an excellent waypoint from Frail to Relay. We can make it a rendezvous point for our messengers, carrying sensitive information from our country. If we're able to keep some link Crestwood, they run for miles, and if we excavate some passages, our agents could easily enter and exit the keep without being seen. Liana, open the secret tunnels will let us evade any prying eyes return towards Cape Bronach. You can do that. Let's see what we have. And that'll be it for today. Look at all what we accomplished! We cleared out two areas of enemies and collected some letters and stones. Welcome to Dragon Age Inquisition Pick Stuff Up Edition. See you all around.